Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can see, man, we are your boy Franklin. We're at the Vespucci apartment, and uh, we do have the Benz and the Durango chilling in the, uh, you know, what I'm saying chilling in the garage. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I don't have this uh, actually ready for us to walk in or anything. So yeah, we can't even go in the house right now. But uh, in today's episode, man, we're actually picking up the Impala. It got a nice little paint job on it. I think you guys are really, really, really gonna like it. We need to figure out another stash car because I think I did say that the Impala was gonna be a stash car, but I, I wanna change that. I don't really want the Impala to be the stash car anymore. So uh, we're probably gonna have to figure something out. But uh, we're picking up the Impala in this episode. We're getting a new garage that we have to, um, that we're gonna be using to store our vehicles in. I'm kinda trying to figure out if I wanna drive something or if we're just gonna catch a lift. Um, you know what, let's drive. We're gonna drive the Durango. Cause uh, we got three cars that we're actually gonna be buying. In this episode, they're gonna be for the custom car shop. We're gonna be building those guys up for the custom shop. So we're buying three stock cars today. Uh, we're gonna take them to this new garage. And uh, you know what I'm saying? This new garage is gonna be like our holding garage. We're gonna have a car that's just sitting in this garage. It's basically like a storage garage. Uh, until we get us a big building to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, start the business with. So we got three cars to pick up from Simeon's shop to do that. The garage is actually very close to uh, our aunt's house. So it's all gonna work out, man. It's all gonna work out. And I hope you guys really do enjoy, you know what I'm saying, the episode. And then on top of that too, man, your boy Franklin will be going to go look at a new crib too. So, oh, oh, that was close. So we will be getting us another uh, another crib in this episode as well. Oh god, the interior is actually pretty nice looking. It just it just doesn't match. Like the, the hands on the steering wheel, they don't match. The gauges don't work. But other than that, man, this joint is pretty clean. Hit that throttle on your hand, boy. All right, man. Let's go ahead and make our way down here. I'm gonna show you guys the garage and the new house. Uh, as well as we're gonna have to transport these three cars to the, uh, we're to transport these three cars to the to the garage. So uh, yeah, man. Hope you guys do enjoy this episode. We're gonna go ahead and get everything on and popping. I don't know when we're gonna be putting rims on this Durango. And uh, I'm actually surprised too if you guys said not to put rims on this guy. But man, y'all just don't know, man. I got the perfect Durango, or the perfect rims to put on the Durango, man. And we're gonna be doing that. We're going to be doing it. I'm sorry, man, but rims are going on this Durango. So his cars like the Benz and stuff, man, like the, the E400 that we have in the garage, you know, cars like that, they won't be getting rims, at least for a while. You know, I kind of like, I kind of like that E400 stock, so I don't think I'll be putting rims on it. I did not want to run none of that trash over. But we're going to see, man. I kind of do want to put rims on the, uh, the E400. We'll see, man. It looks like my Durango is actually my stash vehicle. You know what? I think that's what we'll do. We'll make the Durango my stash vehicle instead. Oh, I did not mean, did I lock it or? Okay, I just locked it. Hey, and the trunk opens the right way. Do I have anything? Oh, so when you change stash vehicles, you don't lose your drugs. Oh, I love that. I, I love that a lot. So we got, hey, let me see, man. We'll go to this. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll clean it. We'll clean it out. Let me take all out of here. We're gonna put it in the house. We're gonna put everything in the house. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna ride with nothing in the trunk right now. I need to take some cash out so we can buy these cars uh, for the business. So uh, we're actually getting two old schools and a newer bins that we're gonna be using for this. Uh, for this job right here. So let me see, man. Stash. We got a lot of weed on me. I want to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of three thousand. Or actually, I'll go to get rid of. Let me see. There we go. We'll ride with five hundred. Yeah, we'll ride with five hundred grams on us. And we need. I'm gonna need about at least about one hundred fifty thousand for these cars. All right. And we're just gonna go ahead and pay. We're just gonna go ahead and pay Simeon about one hundred twenty-five thousand for the cars. I'm gonna go to subtract that. So let me go ahead. Let me do that really quick. I'm gonna go to subtract the money for these cars. And you guys are gonna see, man. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like the cars that we're actually gonna be, um, you know, dealing with as well. So let me go ahead and let's minus 
You know, we'll do 130. So minus $130,000 for it, the three cars that we're about to go ahead and transport. Now I was thinking about using a car and trailer, but y'all know the, the trailer mod doesn't really work with this updated version of GTA right now. So I ain't even finna really mess with it like that. We'll just go ahead and we'll just transport cars the way we do them. So let me go ahead, let's make our way on over here. So y'all know our aunt stays right here. The garage is actually literally right behind her house, man. So let's go pull on around in there. So we actually got like the perfect spot for us to, you know what I'm saying, be able to stash our vehicles. I ain't even worry about no car wash right now. So here's the garage right here. It's like a little extra building for us to store cars in. It's supposed to be able to hold up to five vehicles. So let me see. I know we're gonna have to put them in at an angle for sure. Cause if we don't, you know, we're not gonna be able to fit five vehicles in. So yeah, here's the Durango, and it does look like there's a decent amount of room for other vehicles. So uh, yeah, I, I, I can mess with this, man. I can mess with this. So I'm trying to decide if we should leave the Durango here, cause we gotta go just up the street to Simeon's shop. So yeah, we're gonna leave the Durango here. We go ahead. Ooh, somebody left a car for us. We're gonna take this. We go to Simeon's shop. I'm gonna show you guys the three cars that we bought from Simeon to go ahead and make this happen. Y'all gonna see why we paid 130,000 too, because the Benz is what really took up a good like uh, about a good 100,000 of these dollars. We paid 100,000 for this Benz that we're getting, and you know 15,000 for the other two cars. Yeah, that's kind of still too high, but you know I ain't worried about it, man. We're gonna make the money back. I ain't worried about it. All right, so put on right here. Oop. See, man, that's why I don't care, man. Hoop dee, hoop dee. All right, so here are the three cars right here. We got a 88 Monte Carlo. You know, it's another one, just like the one that we had that we, you know, did our little upgrades to. And if you guys think we should sell the one that we have too to get another one, let me know, man, because we can make that happen. We can definitely make that happen. All right, we got a 96 Impala right here. We're gonna go ahead and put that guy on some rims probably grill it out everything you know what I'm saying and then have that out on the market be able to sell that guy at the shop oh Z just reloaded and he just added some money to my build I forgot that I owed that man some money and then we got a C63 right here man now this guy I ain't even gonna lie man this is probably gonna be the craziest looking one that we're gonna end up doing and uh, it's gonna be pretty fun man so let me go ahead let's transport these joints okay hold on I'm seeing that doubt on the map Okay, never mind. My Durango is still good. I was about to say, man. Can't mess with the whip, man. Can't mess with the whip. So this is card number four. I mean, number one. I said number four. Where did, where did number four come from? Well, card number one right here. We're going to take this to the shop or to the garage. So we can go ahead and get this on the pop. Oh, and I almost forgot, man. We need to go ahead and do some meth lab trapping. There we go. I want to go ahead. Let's start cooking up these very large batches. We got to start making that money out the meth lab again. So we're going to be selling batches this entire episode. We got to call my boy Z. So when we go pick up the Impala, we're going to be doing some trapping. I know y'all really going to like that Impala, man. That Impala got... I just realized. You know what? I ain't even finna do it, bro. They just, they're trying to switch me right now. Okay? They're trying to switch me. Let's go ahead and just remove him. Making it hard for me to get my cars in the garage. All right, so this is card number one. Y'all know, man, we're gonna be building these cars up slowly but surely. I probably shouldn't have even deleted that. I could have just drove it. But slowly, but slowly but surely, man, we're gonna build these shops up. We're gonna find us a shop. I don't even know where we're gonna go for the shop. That's why we. Uh, that's kind of why we just got this little garage. Cause uh, we don't have a shop yet. So we're going to be storing the cars in this garage, building cars, taking them back and forth from this garage spot. And uh, we're going to be making it happen like that, but shoot, man. There we go. Let's go to get the next two cars. I'm going to have to, more than likely, I'm going to have to change my game time, too, so that you guys can actually see the paint job on the, uh, on the Impala. Maybe we got 96 Impala right here, then we got to go pick up my 2015 Impala.
So yeah, man. I hope you guys do enjoy the episode, though. We'll be getting some chopping done. I feel like that large batch is about to be uh, done in a second. We're going to have to cook another one. I'm going to have to call my boy Z. And grab that cocaine and crack off on Y'all know, man. That crack and cocaine, that, that stuff is scary. So. Oh, man. It's back. Oh, it opens this time, though. Okay. I'm probably going to have to take my Durango out before we uh, put the money card in here. So. I mean, it was part too close. All right, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm it down. Jesus. Now, as you locked, you gotta stay locked. I think it's still. I'm not sure. No, it's not locked no more. I had to lock it real quick. There we go. All right, so this is supposed to be a five car garage, but I ain't even gonna cap it. It's looking like a, a four car garage. <laughs> It ain't looking like no five car. Right, we're gonna pull the Durango out. Right, we're probably gonna have to take this back to the house. Or I could just leave it here, we'll just catch a lift. That's what we're probably gonna do. Here's the large batch is finished, 2300 grams. Let me take this joint. Okay, let's go ahead, let's do another one. Another very large batch. We're gonna keep making them all, we got a lot of supplies. We're gonna keep making a lot of them because I did read the comments and most of y'all were saying what happened to the meth lab So I could smooth forgot that we could just do all that cooking and stuff away from the meth lab We ain't got to be at the meth lab to actually do all that. So why is it saying I have a vehicle over here? That must be glitched. That has to be glitched man. It's saying I got a vehicle over here. All right, so we're here for the money, Carlo. Man, let me get this bag off my boy's back because it's, it's really making him not run how he should be running. I gotta unlock it. Had to unlock that boy first. All right, man, so it looks like we probably will be getting some, uh, some night trapping too. It makes me kind of want to wait to go get the Impala now because I want to get the Impala during daylight. Let me see what time is it? Oh, it's 11 at night, man. We're going to get the Impala. <laughs> I'm going to just accelerate my game time a little bit, and I hope you guys don't mind that because I really want y'all to see the paint job on this Impala during the day. I'm like the rain go, but that thing looks so sexy. All right, so we're going to have to find us a paint shop, a trustworthy paint shop, too. You know, I'm tired of going to Los Santos Customs and all that for our paint job needs. Oh man, my man's hair done changed too. Oh my gosh, dude, I hate when this happens. Like, stop it, please. Stop it. Oh, I just unlocked it. That was a new move. All right, here we go, good. So let me pop back out here so I can fix my man's hair. Uh, we'll, we'll just go with that for right now. All right, so I'm trying to decide if we should go ahead and uh, drive to Durango, or if I should just call a lift to the Impala. We drove. The, we did drive the Durango over here. So you know what I'm saying, man. It probably wouldn't be that bad of an idea to go ahead and. You no, know, we'll leave it right here. We're gonna call it. Yeah, we're gonna call it lift. Or right, how far are we from the house? We'll take the Durango back to the house. Yeah, I would do. 0.8 miles away, that ain't too bad. Tip the ring, go back to the crib. So definitely let me know what you guys think about the decision for that shop. We're actually still gonna go look at this house too and I still wanna do some traveling. Oh boy, this episode may be long. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. This may be a longer episode. Is my batch still cooking too? Let me see. Okay, large bag is still being cooked. I ain't know if there was still uh, a batch being cooked or not. Had to make sure. All right, there we go. It just finished up. And we got like six, seven thousand grams now. Or that myth, man. We got a lot. I'm gonna be able to keep making some more batches. Actually, let me check. What the supply style looking like? We got thirty thousand grams now. That's gonna be. Oh, oh, what just happened? See, that's how crazy accidents happen in real life because I don't even know what just happened just then. 
All right, supply stuff. Oh, but we stack up. Let me see, upgrade stuff. We still got five more upgrade missions to do too, and I almost forgot about them guys. So we, we got some things to do, man. We got some things to do. I think we have all the perks. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and park my Durango back into the garage. That my E400 right there, I'm saying. I'm not sure if we'll be throwing rims on it. Cause I like it stuff, man. It looks really good stuff. Okay, it looks really good stuff. That black with this with the stock rims. Oh my god, it looks so good. We might actually go ahead and um should we may we may change the paint job on it though. Go get it wrapped. That's what we might do. But alright, let's go ahead and make our way on the people. We gotta call a lift to go to Simeon shop. I'm gonna call it from the main street. I need a lift. So we're gonna have him, uh, we're gonna have Z take us over there. And then once we get the Impala, we're gonna call up Z again so we can buy the cocaine and crack that he has on him because you know, we need that. You know what I'm saying? We need that. Oh, and some of you guys were saying that I need to change Z's uh, lift vehicle or pickup vehicle. And I keep forgetting, but I will be doing that. I'm gonna give him something more, more undercover, like, you know what I'm saying? More, I'm gonna give him something less Less, like, less attention, uh, attention bringing. Oh my god, he needs, just stop moving, bruh. Damn. He's gonna he keep running me over. Bruh. My man's just gonna keep running me over, bruh. Like, just stop moving, bruh. Let me get in. Out the car, nigga. All right, yeah, yeah. Hold him right there. Hold him right there. Hold him right there. Hey, let's go, bro. Why don't you blow me? Hey, my man's finna trip out now. I just wanted to live to go pick up my car, bro. That's it. I just want to live to go pick up my car, bro. That's it. So you know what? I just, I just move y'all. I help y'all out. All right, we're here, bro. Let's go. My batch is finished, let's do another one. What was going on? You gonna you gonna take me to my destination, bro? I still a bike right there, you know you know what? Yeah, we'll do that. I ain't even finna mess with him right now, bro. He seeming like he don't really wanna mess with me. We just we just steal these folks bike. You can go about your business, bro. All right, let's go pick up my Impala, man. Oop, my game just froze. All right, here we go. All right, y'all already know, man. We dropped the Impala off at Los Angeles Customs. Let's go pick up my joint. I'm finna go ahead and, uh, actually, let me do that right now. Let's go ahead and advance our game time. So that we can go ahead and have a nice view of this Impala. There we go. That'd be good. I got all these red dots on my map, man. I really got to figure out what mod is interfering with my persistence mod that's causing those dots to show up. Cause nothing else is, you know, nothing else is really giving me issues. Those dots are just showing up. If you guys don't mind the dots, then I won't mind them. I'ma just say that. I'ma just say that. All right, but here we go. We done made it. You guys can let me know what you think about the new paint job on the 2015 Impala that we got on some 26 inch forges. Go to pull up right to it. And we're gonna give Franklin some motorcycles again too. But hopefully you guys do wanna see this. Let me know what you guys think about this paint job. Cause it looks great. Yes sir. Oh, I was way far away from this joint. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think about this joint, man. When the sun actually comes out, y'all will really be able to see the, you know what I'm saying, the look, the nice little color flips. But this is also, once again, another paint job that I don't think anyone really recommended. But it looks really good. It's a surf, you know, it's a surf blue with a pearl. And I don't even know the pearl color because the pearl color, if I go into the menu and show you guys, it literally doesn't have a name, so. Yeah, man, this is what we're working with right here, man. Let me know what y'all think about the new, new, man. We got the windows tinted, too. And we're going to go look at this new house. 
I'm gonna go to pop a save real quick though. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. Alright, now let's call up my boy. I'm trying to buy some drugs, bro. Alright, you sending somebody to go pick a D. So, see, we got the center caps to match the color, to, uh, to match the paint job, too. Oh, y'all yeah, can't tell me this and probably don't look good, man. These don't look real nice. Alright, so let's go to pull on up. And we just sold all those drugs. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do one more. Let's do another batch. Let's interact with bro right here. Oh, he got the weed. I love it. He got the weed. Uh, I think we got enough. On I should have enough on me. Let me see how much do I have on me. 40,000? Okay. Find somewhere, quitter. Oh, he told me to find somewhere. Somebody was must about to snitch on us. All right, we back. All right. All right, so we're gonna take all the crack up off him. 12 bags. See, you owe me too much already. Oh my God, okay. All right, we'll take the cocaine first. I need that. You know, the cocaine gotta go. I think I only got like 20,000 left. Okay, we'll take the two bags. So I got $2,000 left to my name, bro. I'm gonna pay them 2,000 to him. Um, and we really should just go ahead and pay him even more money because like, we, man, we, we can make a lot more money than what, than what we're actually doing with this man right now, so. Before we end the episode off, man, we'll, we'll go ahead and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna give him everything. I'll go ahead and give him everything that we make in this episode since we do got money in the stash spot. We're gonna go ahead and clean him out. Where you going, bro? You don't come and get these drugs, bro. Alright, now you don't want no drugs. Now you don't want no drugs. Alright, say no more, bro. You ain't wanna serve your old P O O cop anyway. That man probably the biggest cop in the world, bro. Oh boy, I got three people running up the street right now. He said the leg seat though. People hopping in like they catching a little 25 G's of the crack. That's going in the opposite direction though. I wasn't even trying to go that way. Alright, hold on, let me pull. Let me pull out the little one. Seven grams of cocaine, you can have that. Make some money, man. Make some cool. money. $2,800. Eight grams of cocaine right here. Okay. I don't even think we bought all the cocaine. I think yeah, we did, actually. Two grams so of cocaine. Me, Everybody right here want cocaine. Okay. Thanks a million, pal. All right, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. So we made some real good money. He didn't even close my door. I hate when they do that. He didn't close my door. All right, so let's go ahead and make, make this crack play real quick. So we got a whole crack play right here. Oh, my door just closed. Wow. I think that's him right there on the corner. Yeah, that's him right there on the corner. All right, you want 25 grams of crack, right? It's not letting me sell to him. I think I had to move. All right, here we go. It's not letting me sell to him. Like the option comes and goes. There we go. It's like I had to catch it. Why? Well, I don't know. That was weird. 25 grand for 5G. So we got 11,000 already so far, bro. We're making some money. I want to start making my way towards the house so we can check out this house. You know, Franklin's new crib. So I'm going to set that waypoint. We're still going to be making our sales as we go. So definitely let me know what you guys think about the Impala, though. You see the daylight, you know, time's getting a little bit brighter. 34 grams of crack. How far is that going? Oh, this is just right there. Let's do it. Let me make this sale real quick before we uh, before we go to the house. Oh! I remember by my flip hazard. All right, I had to close my door. All right, I actually need to make my game uh, sunny. It's not sunny right now, so it's kind of throwing it off. In this car, somebody's in the car. How's it going? Oh boy, somebody was riding with me this whole time. Thanks. So that's why it was glitching. Okay. He went to focus on the weed. Go ahead.
ahead and give her this crack real quick. She ain't even look like no crack, baby, but hey. We got 14, 1,400 grams left. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. We gotta be stacked out like this. We need cocaine like this, though. Cocaine has always been where the money was at. Come on, move. Come on, Jeff. Got it hot over here. Oh, shit. We got smoke coming. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and serve her so she can doing? get back in her truck. There's somebody that's running from across the street over there. Took her little eight grams. Thanks. Damn, dude. Oh, she made it a mission to come over here. We got 24,000 so far. Hey. Whoa. Oh, hey no way. Yeah, so we're gonna be able to really make a profit right here. Oh, somebody ratted on me. Man, move, I gotta go. I gotta go. We in the wrong car to be running too, bro. Cause it's like flip hazard. This car, oh! Woo. Oh, that was close. It's a police station right here. Why did I ride straight past the police station? Oh! Oh my Jesus, bruh. My Impala, my baby. Oh, they got me for driving reckless, bruh. We found to go swap cars. I'm finna get my baby fixed real quick. We finna have to swap cars, though, bruh. It's not finna work. I'm not finna be able to run in my Impala, man. Probably gonna have to make our way all the way to the house, and I'm gonna have to jump into the bins. Damn, this Impala looks good. All right, man. See, cause they got a helicopter on us and everything. See, I got ten on these windows, so they not really gonna be able to know who's driving. So that's a good thing. All right, here we go. Yeah, okay, I two shots. Got a little more damage on my damn car too. I'm gonna wait until they kind of like move around on me. I need that helicopter just to not be looking anywhere near this way. Okay, they coming in here now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Damn, this this damn blue, this blue is just outrageous though, man. It, it, it It's like it's out there. Oh, turn right here. All right, we're gonna go down this alley. I'm telling you, man, this blue is out there, man. That's probably going to be the one thing to get us caught is this blue. Because they actually recognize this cars and all that, man. I actually lost them in that tunnel, though. Let's go! Anyway, that's the first time I ever really lost cops like that, bro. And then we lost them in the Impala. There's no bolo out. They ain't looking for Franklin or my, my nice blue Impala. Surprising me. But they did get me for driving reckless, bro. So, yeah, that could be pretty bad, man. You know what I'm saying? That could be pretty bad. All right, so we're gonna check out this house, and uh, I'm gonna try to see what it looks like and all that, and then we'll probably do a little bit of more trapping. Cause I'm realizing this video is already at the 30 minute range now, and uh, you know, y'all know, man, long videos, man, long videos be my lifestyle sometimes. But I'm trying to make sure that I, I still got time to do everything else that I need to do. Cause I got a lot of stuff that I need to do, actually, man. Y'all just don't even know. All right, so here is the crib right here. Damn, who the fuck? Somebody already got some shit parked up here. But here's the crib right here. The new spot, man. It's where I'm trying to come, you know what I'm saying? If we, if we moved here, then I don't know what we're gonna do with the Vespucci apartment. Well, it's an apartment. We could just leave it. You know what I'm saying? We just move on up out of there, we move to a house. So let me go ahead, let me fix my impala real quick because I know y'all see that little scuff mark. So. We got, we got space for cars and stuff too. I don't know who got this. This one looks real nice. Sexy looking Bonneville. But you see, we got plenty of room for cars and stuff. So if we did move here, we would have plenty of room. Could park cars everywhere. Could probably park some cars over here too. You know what I'm saying? Park them right down the side. Got a huge pool. Let me run out up here. So here's the first first little area right here, like a little dining room, some glass, you can see clean out. This bathroom, yep, bathroom. Looks real nice. Oh, in the bedroom. So, oh, and we're missing a few objects, it looks like. But, yeah, it's a very small house. It's basically another, it's like another apartment, but it's like kind of like a condo. 
That's kind of what this reminds me of. It's like a condo. Condominium. Alright, so let me see, man. I'm gonna call Z up. Uh, you know what, man? Let me go ahead and you know, we'll do some more dealing. Got a dog back here. But man, man, let me know what y'all think about this right here. We'll go ahead and I gotta take the money out of the stash spot for it in the next episode. Oh, bye. That could be bad. I was about to break into my own my own whip. I gotta you know, I gotta make sure I don't do that. Right. Oh whoa, she can't run over here. She wants some drugs. Why she can't quit? She can't quit. Hold up, I, for, I almost forgot too. Do another large batch. I can't sell. Oh, I already did it. She went nine grams of weed. So definitely let me know what you guys think about this house right here. It's like a nice condo type of uh, building. Definitely, in my opinion, it's kind of worth it. It's kind of worth it, man. It's up here in the hills. I know it's going to be more expensive, but being more expensive, we got way more garage space. Way more garage space. Like, we could park, like, just about all Franklin cars there. And then we still got that whole garage down there in, uh... On Grove Street, we still got the garage on Grove Street, so it's like that's a four car garage spot. We got the five car garage spot for the shop, and then you know, we have the house that's gonna have a bunch more garage spots. So, let me know what y'all think about it. I think it's, I think it'll be the move, man. I think it's, it's a huge upgrade, it'll definitely be beneficial for your boy Franklin. We could have our whips out front. Hey, I'm on time out. 34 How grams of crack. You? I'm doing good, girl. I'm doing good. Just take the sale. $6,800. So we got $31,000 left. Oh, we made $31,000 so far this episode. That's what I meant to say. So we're doing pretty good, man. We're doing real good. Y'all definitely got to let me know how y'all feel about this episode right here. Because I kind of did this episode a little bit different. I gave us a little bit of... Um, like way different tasks. Like your boy is working this episode. Right, everybody say, man, anybody else want some drugs, man? What what is what the sale is that? Alright, we got 43 grams of crack. Gotta make sure that nobody snitch on me though, because that's what will that'll ruin this 43 gram uh this, yeah, this 43 gram crack sale. If somebody snitch on me. 10 grams What's going on? You want the 10 G's? You take 10 G's. Yeah. He's gonna wait until he got out the car. He wasn't trying to be in the car with dude. He doesn't want to gram anyway. Thanks. Alright. And they didn't really want too much anyway, man. Little baby sales. Still some money, but man, little baby sales. Let's go ahead and do these 43 grams of crack, man. Ever since we stacked up on crack, bro, it's like that's all these folks really been wanting. Let's go ahead and make this sale uh, right here. 43 grams. I'm gonna turn up. $8,600. So that's $40,000 right there so far that we that we can give to Z. So that was 4,000 grams again for the meth lab. I tell you, that meth lab is making some real good money, man. Like, once we actually go ahead and, and make those sales, that meth lab is just going to be cashing out for us, bro. Like, we're going to get, like, a, a few million dollar sales out of that meth lab. So, how's it going? Right. So, I think this will be the last This will be the last dude right here that's coming up. Cause I can feel it getting hot right here. I can feel it getting real hot right here. All right, folks, just walking up. She going crazy. I don't think she should have took the drug from me. All right, we can go to go. Oh, look. See, they want some smoke. Stand down. They don't want no smoke. Get out of here, man. I don't know what kind of plug he thought I was. <laughs> but all right, so with that being said, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will go to make this 33 gram uh, cocaine sale. And then we got to call Z, give him the money. And then that'll be the end of the episode, man. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that like button for your boy, man. 
are trying to stay consistent with at least one video a day the two videos a day will return very very soon man i'm just trying to get the consistency back with at least one a day man you know what i'm saying i gotta, I gotta work my way back up to how i was before can't just straight jump to it because it ain't gonna work man so best believe man the consistency is coming uh the second channel i gotta figure out when i'm gonna start posting the second channel videos but definitely gonna be doing that as well man all right so let's call us we got fifty eight thousand dollars to give him let's go ahead and give my boy z these 58 No, he about to be happy, man. That tab about to drop 80 bands. I mean, that tab about to drop from 80 to like 30. Alright, bro. We're gonna pay that debt, man. Said find somewhere quitter. So I'm done, bro. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to give you that money. Oh, and he just reloaded. Ain't that something? So that means you got it on you right now? Yo. You got it on right now. I'm going to take, I'll take that crash. Did he get any cocaine? Hold on, let me check. Let me check that real quick. I'm not sure if it said he got any cocaine. Oh, we're back up to 80,000. It's like the money I just spent with him. It didn't even matter. <laughs> it didn't even matter. He did get some cocaine. He got two. He got two bags of cocaine. Okay, but it's saying he ain't got none. It's saying he's out of cocaine. Oh, I think I gotta recall him. I think that's what it is. I gotta recall him. All right. <clears throat> so let me call him again. Let me see. I think I just cleaned him out from what he had the first time. So let me see if uh, let me see if he'll do me a little loan or not. If not, then we'll just do it in the next episode, man. So with that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure I smash that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. Hey, let me get it. That's what I'm talking about. And I will catch you guys in the next episode or live stream, man. Peace on out.